only right that we do everything that we can do to protect these animals uh, because we have a, a, a tremendous amount of uh, money invested in training and also that's, uh, that's these guys partners so we want to do that. Mimi, F Mimi Page Foundation step forward. Ellen Frost, thank you very much for everything you've done. She got to going out in the community, which she's very good at doing, and uh, raising some money to get these three ballistic vests for these dogs, which cost $6,500. And uh, Alan Shepard, who's a great community partner of ours, stepped forward at uh, Alan's Pond, and he and Tanya and Alan's Pond stepped forward and, and made this donation to Mimi Page, and I'll let you take it from it was uh, an extraordinary donation. Uh, to back up a little bit, the, found, the, the premise of the Mimi Page Foundation is to really preserve and protect the animal-human connection. And when we did some investigating and realized there was a need, there's no greater bond between these dogs and these officers. And what the time and effort the officers have put in to the dogs, and the dogs just unconditionally serve not only them, but the community as well. So it was a given that we wanted to do something, and then Alan and Tanya stepped up and essentially gave us the money for the donation for the vest, and we hope it's something that can continue if the department gets another dog. We heard there were two other dogs, but they are not in danger, but it's something we hope to be able to always be able to protect these dogs. And because they're I mean, I think the sheriff can talk about how much money in drugs these dogs have interceded in getting and just what they do. And if you've ever seen them work, it's just amazing. And yet, this dog comes and gets beautified at bed and biscuit is like a little puppy dog. So <laughs> the job that the officers have done has been extraordinary. And, and really, Alan and Tanya get the credit because um, we never asked them for any money. They just called on the phone one day and then said, this is something we want to do. And so it was their generosity. And uh, I think everybody should sleep a little better because this is just a win-win for everyone. Uh, we actually take these dogs. They, they help us in many different ways. Of course, they help protect narcotics and help with our drug seizure forfeiture efforts. Uh, they, they help with dangerous fugitive apprehension and when we need to track people down. Uh, it's amazing what they can do. They actually solved a bank robbery for us not too long ago. I guess it's been maybe about a year ago where they tracked, uh, tracked an individual from a, from a robbery we had. And I can't remember if it was a bank robbery or an armed robbery. But they do all those things, and one of the other things they do is we, we try to go into our county schools and sometimes into the city schools. We're actually scheduled to go to uh, a city school next week, and we take the canine dogs because the kids just gravitate to them, and uh, they, they just do everything from all the way from A to Z for us as far as uh, helping us with our job and also help us go out into the community. I think you're hurting.